So today's video is based on a survey I took in my last vlog where I suggested a bunch of topics I might cover and had people vote for them. And this topic was the only one that got any votes at all. It is a video editing tip. Uh, this video editing tip is kind of specific to moto vloggers or people who do moto vlogging like videos where you're narrating but you're not showing your face. That gives you some flexibility. So what I'm going to do, I could go into all kinds of detail about how to do it. I think it'll be self-explanatory if I just show you a before and after. Uh, I, I may go into a little explanation at the end. So let's just start with some bad, a bad vlog. <clears throat> a bad vlog. So there I was riding my bike down the, um, yeah, the, uh, 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 street when all of a sudden this giant 4x pulls right out in front of me. Whoa, did you see that over there, you guys? Check that out. Uh, you probably can't see it because the, you know, stuff never shows up on the video. So, on, on the, you know, the wide angle, terrible. And he's way too close for me. There's no way I can avoid him. And so suddenly I remember a technique, um, a tech, uh, a tech, no, a tech, uh, a tech, a technique I learned in the Motorcycle Safety Foundation, the MSF course. So I was able to swerve out of his way. So that's a bad vlog. It needs some work. All right. He has a couple. I want to edit it a little bit. So let me show you the way that I see most people editing these kinds of videos. So there I was riding my bike down the street when all of a sudden this giant 4x pulls right out in front of me. And he's way too close for me. There's no way I can avoid him. And so suddenly I remember a technique I learned in the Motorcycle Safety Foundation, the MSF course. So I was able to swerve out of his way. And now I'm gonna show you the way I edit the video, if possible. So there I was riding my bike down the street when all of a sudden this giant 4x pulls right out in front of me. And he's way too close for me. There's no way I can avoid him. And so suddenly I remember a technique I learned in the Motorcycle Safety Foundation, the MSF course. So I was able to swerve out of his way. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. But just to break it down a little bit how to do that, I use Adobe uh, Premiere Elements. Premiere Elements lets you unlink the audio and the video and then relink it up again after you play with it. So you can do this stuff pretty easily. If your video editing program doesn't have that feature, most of them allow you to take in uh, audio, an audio video clip and then delete the audio. And then you could bring it in again and delete the video. Most of them have that kind of function. Um, and then you can play with them separately. Just set them side by side and uh, keep the video... Uh, flowing smoothly uh, while you cut the audio. As long as your audio generally matches up, it works surprisingly well. Um, obviously, if you're coming to a stop at an intersection and the way you rearrange the audio causes you to have some engine racing sounds, this actually sounds pretty funny if you ever do that. Uh, you don't want. You, there are some limits to how much you can use a technique like this, uh, and that's it. You can chop up the audio and leave the video continuous in a lot of situations and eliminate a whole lot of, of uh, visible editing in your vlogs. And if you got questions about it, um, there's only so much I can answer because I don't know. A lot of this is very dependent on your video editing software. Um, but it's not as hard as it might seem in one way. In other ways, it's more difficult than it might seem. So give it a try. See if you think it's worth the time and worth the results. And that's my video editing tip. So until next time, I will see you all out there on two wheels.